Welcome back. In this segment, I want to talk about um, prevention, and we've kind of alluded to some of the things that I'm going to cover in this segment. We've, we've been there a little bit before, but I want to do it in just one more organized fashion. Um, prevention is basically carbon monoxide detectors. It's where to place a detector. And then we've also talked about just making sure that, for example, if you do have gas, whether it's in the furnace or whatever, uh, it needs to be a solid non-dancing blue flame. So your CO detectors can be combined with smoke alarms, but again, that's, that's, they're doing a particular purpose. We talked about that in the last segment. Where to place a CO detector? Upstairs on the ceiling for fires. Downstairs on the floor for non-fire conditions. Now, in my case, my furnace and water heater are in the basement, and so it would be a very good idea for me to place a CO detector at or near ground level near the furnace and water heater. Um, doesn't do as much good to place it maybe in a bedroom because you don't have a carbon monoxide source. And by the time it got to that bedroom, you know, it's going to be a much larger concentration somewhere else. So you're going to want to place it near the sources, near the floor. And on the main floor, you're going to want to place it near your fireplace or your stove and oven or you know, in one case, I um, lived temporarily while I was building a home um, in the basement of my brother-in-law's home, and he had a space heater in his basement because it was cold. And so we would use that space heater, and <laughs> I had kids, and one of my daughters decided one day to actually place a t-shirt on this space heater to dry it out, and then she caused a fire. You know, and this is a segment about carbon monoxide. So, you know, I guess what I would have you be aware of is those space heaters, especially the ones with open flames, are, they're just dangerous. Not just for carbon monoxide or not just because they are an open flame that kids can get to, but both. And um, have you be very much aware of those. Basically, any condition where you've got anything that burns, any natural gas, etc., um, it's a potential CO source and if you want to take care of your family well I would suggest that it's better to spend money on carbon monoxide safety equipment than for example radon so those are the uh, that's that's what prevention looks like and we'll be right back with some of my war stories <laughs> 